You must be thinking about making a move to Leewood, Kansas. Well, today's your lucky day. You've come to the right place because I've put together a map video where I'm gonna show you from a bird's eye perspective all about Leewood, all the shops, all the places, all the highways, everything that you need to know when considering a move to Leewood, Kansas and what makes it an amazing place to live. I'm really excited about today's video because Leewood is one of the most premier communities in Kansas City and it has a lot to offer. So can't wait to tell you about it. Hi, I'm Max Jones. I'm with the Mojo Real Estate team and my partner Zach Morton and I have been in business for over 20 years helping people just like you move to the Kansas City metro area and to Leewood. We have over 650 reviews online, so don't take our word for it. Hop on the Google and check us out and see what our clients have to say about working with us and their experience. So with that being said, let's dig into the details. But before we do one more thing, I just want to make sure you stick around at the end because I'm going to reveal my number one most awesome thing about Leewood and you won't want to miss it. So, all right, so let's dig into the details. I've got the map pulled up here. And what you can see is this red outline is Leewood. And it's kind of a long, skinny section of land that runs right along state line. This straight side is the state line road between Kansas and Missouri. You can see that here on the map. And I'm not sure exactly what defines the, uh, the western side, but uh, there are a couple streets here, uh, Row and Nall, um, or Mission and Nall, I believe. Um, that represent the uh, most of the western side. So before we dig into Leewood itself, I want to back out a little bit of this view and show you where Leewood sits in context with the whole Kansas City metro area, because that's really important. So you can see here that Leewood sits on the south central section of the Kansas City metro area. So um, right here in Kansas City is the, down, the downtown, the heart of Kansas City and you can see the river right here. Uh, the Missouri River kind of comes down and um, cuts the city in half. So everything north of the river, uh, we refer to as the Northland, and then you've got your south of the river folks down here. And then on the south side of the river, the state line um, kind of cuts through right here, cuts through the half of the the south of the river. So you've got your Kansas side and your Missouri side south of the river. And just so you know, in a con little context on where the airport is, the airport is right up here on the north side of town. So a little bit of a jaunt if you live in Leewood, but it's not too bad really. You can hop on 635 to I-29 and be to the airport in about 30 minutes. All right, so now that we know where Leewood sits in Kansas City, I want to zoom in and go through the details of uh, Leewood. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the, uh, with the outline here and the major roads and highways. So you can see 435 Highway, it creates a giant circle around the entire Kansas City metro area and it intersects Leewood, not quite in the middle, but cuts it from north of 435 and south of 435. So whenever you hear somebody considering moving to Leewood, you know, that's kind of a, a big dividing line there on uh, everything. A lot of people want to be north of 435 and be in the, the heart of old Leewood, and then it kind of gets newer as you go south of 435. We zoom in here, you can see State Line runs completely up and down uh, the east side. And then Mission Road kind of creates uh, the north of 435 western border. And then Nall um, creates the most of the uh, western border south of 435. And then other major roads, you've got 135th Street. Um, right here is a, is a kind of a major road that will run you over to 69 Highway. 69 Highway is kind of your main access from, um, from Leewood to, uh, if you want to head north, and it'll, it'll uh, intersect with 635 up here, 35 Highway and 635. So that's kind of your main artery to run north and south. And then 135th Street being a main street, it actually turns into 150 Highway once you switch over to the Missouri side, right in Martin City. And then, you know, if you need to go east 
over to Greenwood or Lee Summit, or you know, if you need to head east, then that's that's the way you're going to do it typically, uh, either through 435 or 150 Highway. Another main street here, a couple of them uh, that I want to highlight are 119th Street is right here. That's where a lot of the main activity that goes on um, commercial commercially. Here, I'll switch to the satellite view so you can see that 119th Street right here is just a big hub of uh, commercial district with shopping and that sort of thing. And then uh, while I've got this view up, this is kind of a good view of Tomahawk Creek Parkway uh, will run from 119th Street all the way up through, through a good chunk of Leewood and runs into College Boulevard. And this is just really, Tom Tomahawk Creek Parkway is an iconic divided parkway that runs along this creek that um, goes by one of the most premier subdivisions in Leewood, which is Hallbrook. And that's actually what I'm going to talk about next is uh, I did a vlog video where I took you around and showed you three different homes at three different price points in Leewood and Hallbrook is where we wrapped up. So this is the third subdivision um, that was, I uh, can't remember the price point of the home, but it was definitely over a million dollars and um, was right here in Hallbrook, which is um, a golf course community and just a phenomenal place to live. Not inexpensive by any means, but uh, one of the one of the best subdivisions in the city, Tallbrook. So that is that is in the central part of Leewood there. And then a, another subdivision I did uh, took you by the second house. I took you to it was actually like 152nd and Mission essentially. Um, Mission Reserve is where it was and it was down here uh, near Iron Horse. It was a patio home, and Iron Horse is another uh, amazing golf course clear on the southern tip of, of Leewood at 151st Street. And then um, the first home I took you to was uh, in the Woodlands, a single family home on 129th. It was roughly in this area, kind of by Leewood South, 129th Street. So to give you some context for the vlog video, uh, that's where we went. We didn't go clear up north of 435 in kind of in Old Leewood. We didn't get any of anything on the vlog video for that one, but that is another uh, another section to be aware of in Leewood. So um, now I want to highlight uh, the golf courses. I've already shown you a couple. Let me switch back to the layer uh, for this view. Just the map view, it'll give you a little, a little easier to navigate and see. So we have Iron Horse and then um, Hallbrook on the north central side. And then you have the Country Club of Leewood right here. And it is a, the, all three of them are phenomenal golf courses. Um, if you love to golf, Leewood's a great place to do it. Um, three amazing golf courses and then uh, there are other golf courses. Uh, Lionsgate is really close to Leewood, but there are golf courses all around uh, Leewood, if, if not in the city limits of Leewood. And then also along those same lines for golfing, if, uh, if golf is your thing, they have an X golf. There's a top golf nearby, just, just, on, the, uh, just on the outside of um, Leewood city limits. And there is also a really cool little craft, craft and putt uh, restaurant where you can, uh, it's like an indoor putt putt golf where you can uh, uh, drink craft beer and, and get some food. So tons of golfing activities if that's your, if that's your jam. Parks, uh, Leewood is chock full of parks. I'll go ahead and enter it into the map here um, so you can see that it is just full of parks. So I'll mention a few of the bigger ones that I think are, are worth mentioning, but there are some little, you know, little scattered parks for everywhere. It's a great area for that. It's, um, it's like living in a park, but uh, you've got Leewood City Park, um, which is a bigger park. Um, you've got Tomahawk Creek Parkway Lake Park and Tomahawk Creek Park. Uh, both are really nice parks. This Tomahawk Creek uh, Lake Park is huge. And Geezer Park, I kind of like the name of old Geezer Park. I think it's just a little little park here on 135th Street. Yeah, right in here. 
geezer park. So even got a park for the old geezers. <laughs> um, I'm not sure that that's what that actually means, but. So yeah, parks galore in Leewood. And uh, as far as entertainment goes, um, entertainment is just ridiculous. So um, let me change the map here back to Leewood, Kansas. So um, for, for entertainment, you've got, uh, I'm not gonna highlight everything on the map. The majority of the stuff for entertainment that you're gonna find is on 119th Street, um, just on the west side of Tomahawk Creek Parkway, this town center plaza area is where the, where all, everything's happening. But uh, you've got uh, blade and timber axe throwing, you've got a breakout KC escape room, you've got uh, sandbox VR, tons of bars and pubs and restaurants. Uh, you just, I mean, too many to name really. You just have the best, uh, some of the best restaurants in town are in Leewood um, for sushi or you name it, anything you want, um, steakhouses. Uh, they've got a game show battle room, which is kind of um, near and dear to my heart. We took our uh, team there one time on a team building event and had a blast. We uh, rented the whole place and um, they do a game, you are in a game show, not live on television, um, but you get to play all the game show games and it is a, it's a hoot for, um, for fun stuff to do in Leewood. There's also an iFly, the simulated uh, skydiving where the fan blows you up in the air. Um, took our, our kids there one time and had a, had a really good time. Um, they had to dial up the fan for, for, for me. <laughs> My kids were in there and then they turned it, had to crank it up about two or three times to, to get me off the ground, but uh, it, was, it was a blast. Um, there's also uh, a restaurant and bar called Breakthrough, which is kind of a another a challenge type of uh, type of place to go. So, if you are, you know, if in, entertainment's big for you, then Leewood is. You're never within, you know, five minutes from really fun places to go and just chock full of entertainment. Tied in, dovetailed with entertainment goes shopping and. Um, Shopping is also just uh, one of the best places in the world to go shopping is in Leewood, um, or in Kansas City anyway. Right here in Town Center Plaza, you've got several plazas like this. So yeah, Town Center Plaza, here I'll click on the, the Earth view so you can get an idea. But in Town Center Plaza, you've got you know Lululemon, all the stores that my wife wants to go to, Restoration Hardware, uh, Macy's, um, you, any, you, you can, you know, in, just name it, any place that you want to go, restaurants or shopping are right here in town center. They also have several other shopping centers, just to name a few. Um, there's Leewood Plaza, there's Park Place, um, Parkway Plaza, the Cornerstone of Leewood, Camelot Court uh, are all shopping, big time shopping centers and Leewood. And yeah, so Leewood is, is the bomb for shopping. And uh, groceries too, if all the high-end grocery stores like Trader Joe's or um, local you know, organic places like Sprouts, tons of Constantinos and Price Choppers and hy -Vs. Um If you look, type in groceries near Leewood, you'll never starve in Leewood. It's just full of all the places you would want. Ooh, Fritz smoked meats. There's several butchers. I think there's a uh, McGonagall's in, in Leewood. There's just everything you could ever want as far as really nice um, grocery shopping. And let's see, what else do I have for you guys? Oh, the schools. Um, yeah, so the school districts for Leewood are uh, Shawnee Mission uh, School District. So Shawnee Mission East services uh, Leewood. And that is on, let me click back to this other view here. That is uh, 75th Street, right up here, 75th and, yeah, so I guess it's not actually in Leewood city limits, but it is, oh, there it is. Yeah, right at the top of, right at the very north of Leewood, I should say, not the top. But just a really good school, amazing campus, pewter will load, you can see that, uh, you know, you've got your sports, you got big baseball field and football stadium and pools galore. Um, this is actually 
actually located in Prairie Village, but it services um, a lot of the people on the northern side of Leewood uh, for their school. And then Blue Valley is the other school district. So you've got Blue Valley High School and Blue Valley North. Blue Valley North High School, take you there and show you that. Um, another amazing campus right here. Blue Valley is actually considered one of the best school districts in the city. Um, you've got Park Hill, you've got Liberty, and Blue Valley probably takes the cake for all of those. You know, you've got aquatic centers and football stadiums and every, every sports academically top notch. Um, it is a great school. And then um, Blue Valley North is just on 119th and, and Metcalf. So remember 119th, the town center plaza was just over here. So this is not actually in the city limits of Leewood. It's just over in Overland Park, but it'll service most of the people um, that are centrally located in Leewood, right around 119th. And then for the kids on the south side of Leewood, you've got um, Blue Valley. The original Blue Valley High School is down on 159th Street right at the southern tip of, uh, of Leewood. And another, another great campus and, and school, it's not quite as big as Blue Valley North, um, but really high quality schools, AAA rated, and just on the southern side at 159th, right by that 69 highway that we talked about. So click back here, just go back to Leewood. Just go back to the map view here. And, uh, and we'll wrap up, wrap up the video. So yeah, that's the majority of what I have to tell you about. The, we've got the schools, the shopping, the restaurants, the attractions, the golf courses, um, the locations of the vlog video, and the major highways uh, we've gone over. Uh, that, that pretty much, that's an all-inclusive summary of Leewood by any means, but I think it's a good starting point uh, as you're doing your Leewood research to know the important spots um, but the one thing that I do want to point out and that you've stuck around to the end for is my number one favorite thing about Leewood and it is the Museum at Prairie Fire and I'm gonna pull this up the Museum at Prairie Fire is at 135th Street so it is down here just on the edge of Leewood and maybe the map view will give a better it doesn't really give you an appreciation I'll, I'll take a the, this building is just stunning when you drive by it. The, I'll, I'll do a, some screenshots of, the, of this building because it is just so beautiful and, um, and a really fun place to go because inside it's kind of like a natural history museum. They have some art and, um, and some cultural exhibits and stuff, but they have um, a dinosaur exhibit uh, with the net, you know, all the bones and all that kind of stuff. And my kids just eat that up. So um, it was built in 2014, I believe. And um, it is just an icon of, of Leewood and really, really one of my favorite things to, to go do. You know, if you've got young kids, um, you can spend the whole day at the Prairie Fire Museum and it's a blast. So thanks for sticking around to the end find out the number one thing about Leewood. Um, the, uh, you know, if, if you want more videos like this, if you're considering a move to Kansas City, please like and subscribe uh, to the video. Or if uh, you drop a comment below, we'll respond to your comments. If you, you know, if you live in Leewood now and you feel like we missed something, please put that in the comments. That'll help us get better and, and point out additional things to our subscribers uh, that are important about Leewood. If you have uh, questions, feel free to give us a call. I mean, if you're considering a trip to Leewood and you want, you know, uh, you have questions specific to your needs and your goals, then let us know. We want to be a resource for you. Um, we, uh, we love what we do and we're, we'd be more than happy to help you out. So um, thanks for being here and until the next one, I will see you then.